Song review. All right, so here it is, Kristen. <laughs> We're uh, I already feel like I just lost a ton of brain cells. <laughs> well, gone. Whatever. We're gone. If I had those kind of subscription numbers, if you know what I'm talking about, um, we can't say it for legal reasons. Yeah, we can't. Okay, so we are back in the studio, uh, Chris and Steve. This is yes. Chris. My name is Chris. And uh, you got the you got the straight matching get up, man. Do I? I mean, it's Under Armour Nike, but they both gold. Yeah. I mean, you gotta dress for who you are, right? I mean, I'm success. <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> no, you can keep that, honestly. <laughs> oh, he he's success. He's working on it, man. He's in the early stages of grind. <laughs> he's 21. Yeah. You got a lot of life, man. Just make multiple hustles, bro. I'm making multiple ones. They're just big hustles. <laughs> okay. That's good. <laughs> All right, so enough about our lives. Uh, we are going to get into another Christian music review. This one actually comes all the way from Cali. Cali! Cali. Shout um, out to Richie. <laughs> shout out to Richie, that's right. Uh, so this artist is named Loyal. 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 And you reached out to me through Facebook. And so that's just for you guys watching. If you have music that you want us to review, um, we'll do it. I mean, we'll sit down. Uh, one of the things that we have been struggling with is like, we have to be honest in these reviews. Yes. You know, like yes. we're trying to be like super awesome, nice. Yeah. Um, but we know as artists and creators ourselves, you guys like the feedback. That feedback is feedback, right? Yeah. And and it's good. Um, it's just good to know, right? So um, so we are working on that. We're doing. Uh, we're doing. We're doing. We're having fun with this. <laughs> yeah. We're learning. So if you guys we want don't do this on the regs, okay? No, nah, we're new. Uh, we do also this on the weekend. <laughs> that's right. We also started podcasting. So if you're new around here, we are podcasting. It's uh, our last name is Lemon. Yes. All right. So we have the Lemonade Stand. I know it's like it's the easiest marketing ever. <laughs> like like if our last name was like Schwarzkopf, it would be like Schwarzkopf. People, people stand. kept asking, they're like, "You should do a podcast." And I'm like, "Not that what I call What would I call it?" And they're like, "I don't know." Like Chris's talk. Like, nah, that's so stupid. Chris's talk. Are you kidding me? So I went with the lemonade stand. Lemonade stand. So anyway, uh, it is Chris's adventure, and he asked me to come along the, uh, and help him and 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 ride with him. So, so I don't know how to do the editing. <laughs> this won't be honest. But hey, it's working out. It's all it? about who you know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, all right, and uh, and also on this channel, I am doing daily vlogs. So uh, it is a video a day. I am aiming in 2019 for 365. This is one of them. And so, uh, thank you guys for uh, being here. Before we even get started, click the subscribe button because I know that you're gonna love it. So um, yeah. we love being here. So this is again loyal. Uh, the song is anointed, um, and I did sneak a small peek um, at it already. And uh, yeah, I, did. Uh, I think I did too. Yeah, so I, 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 I didn't like forgot what it was. You didn't memorize it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it is a video. So we uh, we are uh, recording it. So I'll try to uh, put the video into this. And uh, all right, here we go. You ready? Let's do it. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so Chris, you are younger, you're hipper. Is this like the new age stuff? Like, because I, I gotta be honest, like, I'm, I'm I'm not out of the game, I'm just older. It, than so, the game. there's like these new artists, like, um, I don't even wanna say their names. Okay. Uh, but there's these new artists, this is a different style of rap that's coming out. Okay, and this is gained traction, it is very popular, right? It's very popular. Okay. Very popular. Oh, I do like that line. I want to tell the, the world no my story. No, no faith, no guts, no glory. I mean, the whole point of being a Christian is sharing it. I talked about this yeah. before. Neil deGrasse said... It's one of the biggest struggles. Or not Neil deGrasse. Another guy. Another atheist guy. I can't remember the guy's name, but he... he somebody had evangelized him. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. He's got long hair. Yeah. Um, but somebody evangelized that guy, and, and what he said was... Hey, I admire like, it. Yeah. yeah, I admire it. If you really are a Christian, you need to tell. It's no faith, no guts, no glory. It's one of the biggest struggles for Christians nowadays. Telling people about it and, and putting yourself out there. I mean, being an artist and creating content means that you put yourself out there for people to criticize. Definitely. That's hard. People don't like rejection. No. <laughs> no one likes rejection. No. All right. So I like that line. I 
was kind of a cool shot. See that? Like he walked by and saw something, looked back, it wasn't oh. there. Yeah. I think that's like symbolizing like the, the demons that are in our, in our brain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like those shots. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like creepy, which is supposed to be creepy. Yeah. Scary, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, a, a, a demon yeah. is a scary. I mean, it's, we all have demons. I don't care if you are a Christian or you're not a Christian. Everyone's you believe good. in, in uh, you know that there's demons. Even if those demons, like, you know, I've met a lot of, like, atheists or people who say, oh, yeah, I struggle with, you know, uh, depression or I don't ever feel like I'm good enough demons. that's a demon like that is yeah. you allowing yourself to succumb to something and that's why it's, I think that's why stress it is a demon scary. stress right. is a demon yeah I think hatred that, is a demon like right. there's demons come in all shapes and sizes and that's why it resonates as scary it's freaky yeah. right yeah, definitely <laughs> He said, I, I didn't love, want to tell the world a story. He says, I, I, uh, no, he said, I want to. I want to tell the world my story. I want to tell the world my story. Yeah. And I, I'm going to pause right Like this right here, I love the pink guitar. Yeah. <laughs> like the contrast of the pink yeah. guitar is awesome. It's popping. Yeah, it is. He's sharing. Right there in that scene, he's, he's what they call an olive branch out to people. Like he's sharing. Himself. Explain an olive branch. An olive branch is something that you do. You you put out a little tiny, little tiny branch and see if they they want to respond back to you. Yeah, and but this is like him sharing. It's him sharing the gospel, sharing his story. Right. To these people here. And that 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 right there is him trying to do exactly what he's trying to tell his story and bring yeah. them to to an understanding of something. Mm -hmm. And the olive branch goes even a step further. Um, going back, the olive branch goes all the way back to Noah. So in, in the in the Bible that he sent out mm -hmm. those those doves that he sent out doves to go find something that would indicate mm -hmm. that water had receded, mm -hmm. and when they brought back the olive branch, so it was the extension of it was the realization that there's hope. Yeah, and so that's what the olive branch uh, symbolizes. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so that line right there makes me want to know a little bit more about his past. Like, um, I'm, I'm God's child, turn my life around, I'm better now. So that indicates to me that, you he know, had a pretty rough past. He had a pretty rough past. Like, things were, yeah. were tough. And we know a lot of Christian, we know a lot of Christian artists that have that. I mean, Trey Hill, uh, Jamez, uh, Joe, like, like a lot the, of them, yeah. these guys come from situations where they were, they were, they were apart from God. Mm -hmm. And the way they found that they could share the gospel is through music. Yeah, right. Get, get behind me, Satan. Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah. It's like yeah. talk to the hand, right? Yeah. And that's cool. That's cool correlation. <laughs> talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. I like it. I wonder if that still has to do with something in his life. I wonder if I wonder if that that 
woman had something to do with his life or something like that, or I don't know, like a woman in his life that he wanted to send a message to or something. It's a good question. I mean, um, because I mean, if you know art, like if you know music videos, there's always subliminal reasons. For oh things. yes, there's always hidden meanings. There's always like things that relate to what they have gone through in their lives and situations that they want to share, but yeah. not fully yet. Yeah, I've learned. Um, as I've been shooting music videos, I typically will ask the artist, you know, what's one thing I can put in there for you? Because it's one thing to create content for other people. It's another to put something in there that symbolizes Make you. Make it personal. Yeah, right. And, uh, and in one music video I shot, Emergency, um, there's a building where um, the artist learned. Um, it's, it's where he's worked. It's where he learned how to do the craft that he's doing for yep. work and how he's learned to help people and that building in the shot reminds him when he sees it and all of the people in his crew when they see it um, of, of a, it's a, just it's a way for it to mean something to him and so yeah, I, I, it's a good question like does it mean something I like the message of the song mm -hmm. I mean I don't really listen to style of music a lot <clears throat> I mostly listen to it when when other people play it I guess but I mean I like the message a lot mm -hmm. you know yeah it's a solid message I mean yeah. I would I, you know if I was if, if I was still running youth programming this would be in, I could put this in the playlist yeah I think that there's a few a few students that would love to hear this yeah I can name like six yeah. of them okay. exactly. yeah they love it <laughs> yeah. right and I mean yeah. that would be good so all right so listen uh, loyal man it was a it was a good 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 message man good solid message um, mm -hmm. Uh, I I liked it. I liked the tune. I mean, I'm not hip on all the new music, but yeah, I it's like this. a it's a it's another, another simple beat. I mean, yeah. you don't need a lot if you can bring the if you can bring the bars. Mm -hmm. right? He brought a few bars in there, which I liked. The message was good. He was sharing himself yeah. fully. Yeah, you know, yeah, which is nice. And uh, his full album is out on Spotify, and I'm gonna link below in the description as much as I can to point you to Loyal. Um, and uh, you know, thanks, Loyal, for uh, letting us review this. And, yeah, thanks, man. And uh, hope uh, hopefully hear some some new stuff in the future. Yeah, and uh, again, you know, smash that subscribe button. Yes, do kick it. it. Punch it. I mean, um, I did it. And look where I am now. <laughs> I'm sitting here with this guy. <laughs> I smashed it. Things are happening. Okay, <laughs> I get notifications. To watch the videos. Oh, the bell. Yeah, turn yeah. the bell on. Turn the bell on. Yeah, yeah. And uh, listen, I'm doing some serious stuff on here that I think you guys will like. Uh, yeah. I'm just just launching. Um, and I'd love some comments. Go back and look. I'll actually try and put a card up here. Um, it's called the Detroit Bangers uh, B-roll series. And so I'm trying to pick spots in the city of Detroit that you want. I don't think I would ever heard of. you say bangers. <laughs> oh my gosh, my dad's a millennial. <laughs> it's happening. Uh, well, listen, the whole reason behind it is yeah. to, to get you to tell me what places in the city of Detroit, or hey, name anywhere, because I do travel a lot. So if there's a just, spot... Is it just like for <sighs> just Detroit, or is I it was, any yeah, city? I mean, I, mean, I named the Detroit bangers B-roll. called it B-roll bangers. Yeah, I could have. Be roll bangers. Yeah, where were you playlist. in the meeting? I mean, it was. Hey, me. I'm I'm big picture. In I, the meeting I, was <laughs> me, me, and me, and we decided it was the trip bangers. Be, <laughs> be roll bangers, man. That's right. That so, would have rolled off the tongue. Anyway, yeah, go go <laughs> go check out that video. It's uh, in the card above and check it out. Uh, comment below. Thanks, give loyal. a bell, subscribe, loyal. You're awesome. Thanks for letting us do this. And yeah. uh, uh, all right, that's it. See you in the next video. Good day. Music review. review.